I'm in the village of Bumbarit, the, the main village of the Kalash Valley. Oh, the main uh, valley of the Kalash Valley. How did I get here? Magic. It's time for education. It's time to see the sights. It's time to get things learned. There's my intro to the education show. I am a valley. I am not a valley. I am a human. But I'm in, in a valley. In the Hindu Kush. How, you wonder, did the Hindu Kush come across its name? Well, let me tell you, adventure caters. It got its name from, let's break it down into two words, Hindu and Kush. Kush means killer. And you can pretty well guess what Hindu means. That's right. This was the Hindu killer mountains. And that's uh, due to uh, the slave trade of Hindus from India. Um, being taken up into the Central Asian areas of current day Uzbekistan, uh, Turkmenistan kind of region. Uh, those enclaves up there for a very long time were the beating heart of the slave trade between Europe and, and Asia. But uh, not many, it was a notoriously difficult path to get the slaves from India up to Central Asia and a lot of them died getting through these mountains. The Hindu Killer Mountains. It's adventurecation. That's the end of adventurecating. For now, until I get another fact for thee. My mystery ride that brought me here. The uh, the mystery machine. That's right. I came to bumber it with Scooby Doo and Shaggy <laughs> bundled in the back to <laughs> try to unravel some mystery. In the end, it was the groundskeeper that did it. <laughs> he just had a white cloak on him all along. It wasn't a ghost. Freaking groundskeeper. And he would have got away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Damn them. Anyway, Scooby and Shaggy and oh, Daphne. They're... Daphne's the blonde one, right? <laughs> no one was, no one was after that. Why did they make the, the ginger hair one? What was her name? All oh, right, like make her wear a skivvy, give her a bob hairdo, <laughs> give her some glasses, make her the geek that actually is the only one that does anything smart. God, they really less, they just pigeonholed her. So stereotypical of redheads. <laughs> anyway, anyway, my mystery machine said that they'd come and pick me up in about six hours time. Well, it seemed that everything shut in Bomberet today. I was like, oh, I'll go and check out the museum. That'd be grand, won't it? <sighs> Closed on Fridays. Today is Friday. And that's about all I can see to do in Bomberet. So I only have another five hours to wait until Scooby and Shaggy come and pick me up. Uh, let's see what trouble we can... <laughs> Let's see what trouble we can get involved in and what mystery we can solve. There was no Edith Blyther book, the famous one, was there? No. So, uh, they're not going to make a special out of me. Although they did make a special me. <laughs> the dancing place, Palladio. Well, let's go find a dancing place then. That seems fun. One skips to the dancing place Cause that's the way to go If anybody sees me now They're probably gone to show Some fear that I might be queer In a Muslim place today And they will hang me by my neck And I will pray And here we are at the ceremonial dancing grounds Man, it looks like they've had some stompers here, eh? They shook the ground Probably a bit of a drum and bass night, I'm guessing. Like the pull a chic, yo! Is that how it goes? Ah, oh, my rave days. DJ Booth up here. That's his name, actually. It's DJ Booth. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Booth in the house, yo! <laughs> it's 
going, oh, what are they doing? They're making, let's stop that. And let's pay some respect to the dancing place. They're doing some good wood carving here. Looks like they're going to be rebuilding. Okay, they're taking it apart a little bit. When I say a little bit, like a lot. <laughs> but here's the stadium. Okay, this is where you sit around on the outside when you're just like, you're having the water, but the brake just dropped. And you're like, whoa, this is insane. And then just got mad land. And then you've got to like take a rest for a little bit. I'll just step this one out for a little bit. Next thing, like your favorite number comes on, and you're with your buddies. Oh, wow, this is nuts. Then get back out there again. <sighs> DJ Booth. <laughs> I think we shall leave the um, Kalash Rave. It's amazing what a good night's sleep will do for, for a man. A little bit of energy. Hello, how are you? That's a cool front mullet you've got going on there. Found this little swimming spot here. Kids are playing in here, having a great old time. So I thought, why not? I'm going to get involved in this. But uh, it's probably more appropriate that I keep my pants on for this one. So I'm uh, going to have a little swim. So it's been a good fun playing in here. First time I went in, I sort of came in and it's a lot stronger current than you'd think. So the kids showed me how to do it, you got a leaf and it's and I nearly got washed away down here. <laughs> so yeah. Good fun. These guys are in here um they're they're all like, having a shower, having a bath, cleaning themselves, got shampoo and whatnot. Like the others, the rest of them just having a good old time. Like, they're on school holidays right now. So, Fun. But now I'm going to dry off. Uh, got wet pants on. Went swimming with my pants. But that's all right. Should be right. I reckon that's a pretty good way to spend a day. It's in this little creek here. Creek? River? Yeah. Alrighty. Go. Oh. Oh, this is like a like a castle. Let's see if we can go and have a little bit of a look. So this one's the same face. Hello, salam. Hello, I'm very good, how are you? Good. What's a hotel? And the river, Riverside. The Riverside Hotel. It's going dry. It's uh, no longer. Front. Yeah, around the front here. It looks like, um, looks like a castle. The, the, the flood. Okay, flooding, yeah. They built it too close, it really was the riverside, uh, became the... Became it affected during the Azarpandra, 2015. 2015? Floods occurred. Ah? For this reason, this building is... This, this one here as well, obviously. 2015, big floods. Uh, okay. Oh well. Let's have a little look. So, you heard the man. 2015, big floods came through. Says you hope the people got out of here when it happened. All of these floods in the mountains, you know, it could be happening way up in the valley and, um, and not raining down here. I have it all the time where I live up in the, the tropics. You would be careful where you camp on a riverside. You pitch your tent, but if it's raining up in the mountains, not raining where you are, and you're having a little campfire, people get in trouble like that all the time. So I guess there's, um, there's a valley up here. Jeez, this whole mountainside here you can see a big cut out here is washed away mm. yeah you would have hoped to have been a guest here when that happened but it's just the old cooking now the old kitchen unknown Large room, probably a lounge room or something like that. Little dining area, a couple of them around here. Hey, somebody could probably look at this. Got your little courtyard. You would have come in here with all your bags, your little roller case trolleys. We're off on a on a honeymoon in the Kalash Valley. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, honey. The bellhop carries your bag upstairs. You got a little 
red fez cap on like he's from Morocco. Really weird on, <laughs> on the penthouse. Okay, maybe. Penthouse is open air, darling. I've provided for you. I wonder if the guard in the watchtower here saw the saw the flood coming. Yeah. Well, there you go. I read, and again, this is one of my special skills you might remember from Shimla. It says beer up on that white building up there. I don't know how my eyes do it. I don't know, it's like I've got some kind of inbuilt um, identification technology that's just constantly scanning beer and it just sees beer. And it picks up on it every time. Let's walk behind the dusty, smoky truck. I think that's the way to go. What's this? So we're in, a, in the town square here. Yes. This is interesting, isn't it? All these beautiful old buildings. This is kind of like a, um, a water gathering slash uh, washing area. So you see all these little alcoves. There used to be taps. The water come out. You put maybe your, um, I don't know, your shampoo your uh, little bar of soap or just your water bottle and just collect some water and they're all through here so this um yeah would have been a pretty important little little town square in the day you'd come and sit down around the edge collect your water do some washing and then go back up into your little houses some of these wow look ancient Hello sir, how are you? Welcome, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Yeah, what is the name of this village? Kraka. Kraka. Kraka? Yes. Kraka. It's nice, very old. Yeah, yeah. Very old village, yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Oh, very cool. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at this beautiful old building. Yeah. Is, how old is this village? This village is more than 300 years, 300 years old. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. Still, yeah. It's amazing. Yep, so they're all plumbed in now. There's a little Kalash clothing stores where the I guess the locals come to get themselves a new Kalash outfit. Hello, how are you? Fine. Oh, very good. Ah, and there's the town square. I don't know, we've done a done a little loop around. Ah. Back on the main street now. Yeah? Well, that was a fun little um exploration I believe I'm heading uh, over to an old uh, cemetery because that's what one does when in, in somebody else's village so the Kalash people um, they don't mourn the dead, they celebrate um, death uh, they believe that, uh, well they celebrate it because uh, the people that have died are going back to their creators and that their souls live on forever so that's quite nice so uh, I'm not sure if I'm on the right track well, it's all been um, uh, yeah, oh crikey Oh wow, so here's the, here's an old cemetery. Oh look at the, they don't bury them. They just have these boxes above ground. Wow. I was not expecting this. So they just stack them up here until I don't get it, there's some small ones over here, I guess for children or babies. I guess it's harder to go back to your creator if you're six feet under the ground. So yeah, you can very well see on this one here how they're built to be above ground. There's some beautiful carvings on it. Oh, this one's got carvings of a rifle, an axe. I guess it tells a story of a person that, did they die by axe while in a gunfight? Never take an axe to a gunfight. That's the first rule of gunfights. Oh, she, there's bones in here. There's like a leg bone, that's like a femur. Oh my god guys, this one here has got the bottom the bottom jaw. You see their teeth, there's their leg bone, there's their ribs. Like I'm just that's crazy, there's half a skull here. And in here is their femur. Like at what point 
Oh, why are they all opened up? Do they do they open them up after a period of time? Like none of them have their lids on them. You can see these big slabs, obviously, just put over the top. This one's got a skull in it. See the skull just here. I'm here um, during a birthday party, a Kalash birthday party. So all the family's here. Um, yeah, everyone's like getting involved. It's um, the grandson of, of Engineer Khan. Uh, he's turning one years old, so <laughs> there's nothing like celebrating a first birthday at 9 p.m. But um, people are rocking up. It's really good fun. You know, what I find interesting about. So we're at a, you know, we're we're up in the. Where the heck are we? We're in the Kalash Valley, uh, up in the Hindu Kush. But the way they celebrate birthdays here is exactly the same way we would celebrate them back home. Like, they've got Minnie Mouse, everything's in English. Happy birthday. they got the big letters, happy birthday. It's, it's interesting, it's exactly the same way that we'd celebrate it back home. Yeah. So, uh, oh, thank you. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll participate as much as I can. <laughs> so yeah, I found it. Um, yeah, I thought that'd be, I don't know, something else, but it's just like a birthday party back home, I guess. Yeah. So we'll see if they bring out uh, the birthday cake. <laughs> 